Hey guys, it's Aaron from Aaron's Outdoor, and today is a really nice spring day. It is very warm, pollen is flying everywhere, which actually doesn't make it too great because I am allergic to pollen. But since it's spring, the bass, I think, should be spawning now. You know, typically early spring, those uh, bass will start to move up shallow and start spawning. And today I'm gonna do, be doing some pond fishing. I think I'm gonna be doing, be doing some pond hopping. And the, po the pond I'm starting out at today is somewhere I've fished a ton before. It's a really, really, really tiny uh, pond. And I actually used to ride my bike here holding either one or even two fishing rods sometimes. So it's pretty close to my house, which is why I like to come here sometimes. But, and to start off today, I'm gonna be using my polarized sunglasses and doing a lap around the pond just to see if I can find any bass on beds. And if I find them, I'm gonna try to catch them and we'll see what happens. I have found the first, my first fish on the bed. He's right over there. Um, he's not very big, maybe like a little under a pound but there was a bunch of bass like cruising up shallow. I saw like four bass together and I've seen a bunch just coming up and down like right along the banks. So that's the only one I've really seen on a bed. I mean, I've only gone across like halfway across the pond or whatever, but I'm gonna try to catch him first and I'm gonna put on, uh, I think this little white uh, baby rage craw. And typically when bed fishing, it's, it's really nice to use white lures just cause it's really easy to see the bait. And it's really just easy to see whether or not like the fish is biting on the bait or not. It's definitely not necessary like in all all colors of water because like this is really clear water, so probably don't need white. But if you're fishing mercury water, uh, white's like a really you know big advantage. Got him, there we go. Didn't even realize he had it. Nice. First cast with this lure. All right, y'all, well, earlier I said it's good to have white lures for bed fishing, but uh, they did not really react that much to the white lures in this pond, so I switched to a new lure that I've never used before, and I got it a little while back. I was gonna, I was gonna try it uh, for creek fishing, but basically it's a little yum four inch lizard and I have heard like lizards are a good thing to use uh, when bed fishing because there's some type of a uh, some type of kind of lizard type salamander thing that eats bass eggs or something I think so I think lizards are supposed to be a good little bed fishing bait and that was my first cast with a lizard I didn't even realize he had it in his mouth which is why white is kind of a good color because you can tell whether or not the fish actually has it in their mouths or not but Still got him. I could saw my line running off and I could see the fish swimming away, so I assumed he had it. All right, well, that is a good sign that I got one of my first cast with that little lizard. So I'm definitely gonna, there's like quite a, there's actually quite a few more fish on beds up here, so I'm gonna try that out on the other ones. Oh my gosh. You're kidding me, dude. That was my second cast with a lizard. Dude, this is crazy. The yum lizard. I mean, I made like, uh, I was fishing for like 15 minutes with both the little white mini rage craw and a little swim jig and nothing. I mean, the bass were looking at them a little bit, but they were not looking like they were gonna bite it at all. And two casts with the yum lizard and I've got two fish. So that's pretty awesome. Awesome little start with the lizard. So yeah, just the uh, yum four inch lizard and green pumpkin is all I'm using. I'm using it on a little uh, weedless net rig head and I'm putting the lure inside of that hook. It just fell out when I caught that fish. But this is a new little Z-Man uh, weedless net head. Came out this year and I've, I've used it a little bit and I definitely like it so far. There's one, ooh, really small one. Uh, I don't even know if this guy was on a bed. I've seen a lot of these ones like this size just kind of cruising. They've been real aggressive, like uh, going after minnows and stuff, like the ones this size. The bigger ones don't seem quite as aggressive, but, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. But I'll take this little guy. Dude, there's two bass right there. 
they just swam out, but looks like they were together. Probably getting ready to start a bed over there. Oh my gosh, and they bit it. One of them bit it anyway. This is the best one so far, I think. There we go. This is the bigger of the two, probably the female. Yeah, not bad. It, it is kind of fat. Uh, so yeah, that's probably the female. It looked like, I literally, I, so yeah, I just saw two bass, one a little bigger than the other one. The bigger one's the female, the smaller one's probably the male. Wasn't even sure they were on a bed. Cause yeah, there's, there's two right there. I caught one of them earlier. And then there's two more right here. Well, man, I've caught about four fish on this lizard faster than I, Ooh, wow. He was ready to go or she was ready to go, but I've caught four fish on this lizard in less amount of time than I caught zero fish on the other two lures I was using. So I think I found what they want. Got one, there we go. Nice, I'm gonna bring him over here so the other camera can see. Ooh. So I'm, I'm not really sight fishing this whole time. Like this one I did not see at all. I just thought I would cast over there. Cause I know they're shallow and like it's really hard to see um, into the pond with all that like pollen on top of the water right there. So I'm just casting out like not very far cause I know they're shallow. And this one is fat too. This might be another female. It, 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 she could have been on a bed. I just, you know, didn't see the bed, which obviously it's very possible to catch bed fish without knowing they're on a bed. There we go. I think that's fish number five of the day. We'll let her go. Ooh. Nice, got him, dude. This guy was on this bed over here, and this guy was pretty aggressive, actually, towards my swim jig. He was the one fish that reacted pretty well to my swim jig and I just, he was just still sitting there. I popped that worm, like the little lizard up like pretty high and he turned on it immediately and bit it. So that's pretty good. I need to replicate that. Just pop it up. It was kind of a pretty good little pop and he really reacted to that. That's fish number six on the lizard. I did switch to a little uh, mini Texas rig now instead of the Ned rig. All right, and I think I might make a little Instagram post. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at Aaron's underscore outdoor and just stay a little bit more up to date on all my fishing adventures. So I'm gonna do a little post here. All right, y'all, here's bass number six of the day. I'm finding a bunch of shallow bass on bed, so it's pretty fun. There's one, a <laughs> little bass. This guy came after it a few times. Like as soon as I cast it into the water, he just bit at it. It's another one of these like real small aggressive ones. There's one. There we go. I had one bite it a second ago. Is this a bluegill? This might be a super big bluegill. I don't know if I've ever caught one of these out of this pond. Whoa, there we go. I have seen a bunch of big bluegill today in this pond. And I've, I've only really ever gone after bass in this pond, but I actually got a bluegill. I have fished this pond a ton. I don't think I've ever caught one. Well, this guy might be a bluegill, but he fought pretty dang hard. Harder than some of those bass we caught actually. Even though actually some of those bass did fight pretty hard, but we'll let him go. Well, the fishing in this pond definitely was not too bad. I stayed here for just over an hour, caught eight fish, so I'll definitely take that. But now I'm gonna move to the next pond, and I don't think I've ever caught a fish on a bed at this pond, but I don't really care. I'm just gonna try to catch fish whether uh, they're on a bed or not. Oh, that was a bite. There he is. Oh, he got off. I just had a bite over there. Threw it back in there and he bit it again, but he got away. There's one, there we go. Got him. First fish at the second pond. I just missed one a second ago. And oh, this is actually kind of a good one. 
mean, it's not bad. Maybe the best of the day. Ooh, yeah, not too bad. A pound and a quarter, maybe? Ow. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's definitely over a pound. Maybe a few ounces over a pound there. And I, uh, I might have hooked myself there. Yeah, when he flopped around, I tried to grab him. Well, not bad. Good, healthy little bass. Like, both these ponds I'm fishing today are, are real small, but they've got a lot of fish in them, and the fish are healthy, too. So, like, I've caught, like, a five-pounder out of this pond, like, three times. It might have been the same fish, honestly, probably, but there's, you know, you know good quality fish in this little pond. Oh, man, I, that guy hammered it, and uh, I saw the flash of his body. He was real shallow. Maybe, maybe making a bet or something. That stinks. Maybe I should have waited a little longer. I, he nailed it. He just must not have had the whole thing in his mouth. Oh, there he is. Wow. Man, he came right back for it. Oh. Well, let me try to get him. Well, I don't know if he's going to, or he might need my help. Oh, never mind. He got out. Well, I only fished this second pond for like 20 minutes, and I did catch two fish, but I kind of want to go watch March Madness, so I think I'm going to call it a day. But, but anyway, I already showed you the lure I was using, that little uh, yum four-inch worm, or four-inch uh, lizard. Definitely worked really well. Never used it before. I've honestly not been a big fan of lizards before, but I always kind of like little smaller baits because they can just catch pretty much anything. And I even caught a bluegill on that uh, uh, lizard today. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But I will catch you all on that next video. Thanks for watching.